music and him album them and thing. Right. Now, um, the thing is, he just came to Trinidad for Carnival, and I don't know if Merci. he mm. You know, and he was, Trinidad, 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 I want to go back. But, um, you know, some will argue and say we're number one, but I think we're number two. But this is not being biased. I'm not talking bad about In crime? Country, yes. Yeah, but um, you know, give a carnival too. And sexy girl and steel pan. And bacon <laughs> shark. Ah, so that's something. So, in <laughs> can, if you know, anybody who want to highlight the negative, they can. But come on, the Caribbean is a nice place, man. Right. Okay, so I want to talk about Still on Versus Battle. A lot of people will. A lot of people said who they would want to see you battle, but who would you want to battle? You can pass that question if you wish. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. But well, this is like people understand the class acts that Bounty Killer and Beanie Man are. Them just feel like any of them two favorite artists could have do it and it work. It wouldn't work. Just so easy, and the level of production with, with Sharon Burke and Solid Agency, the man main event, and no, no main event. Um, I don't remember my youth company name, we're on a film studio, it shoot, and the selector, them, and like it, the, the level, a big level. And I like, a, you know, I mean, your little fans and my little fans go together, and so a nice, a nice verses could have happened, but on, on that scale, it would not be the same, you know, what I mean. So, with that being said. <laughs> I don't know if I, I mean, Mad oh, Respect would be the number one thing, but anywhere Caribbean people go internationally to represent us, I think the entire Caribbean come out to support. Um, so, okay, maybe the numbers wouldn't be, well, honestly, I think it would be The big. numbers I and the energy. It and... will be, it'll be huge. Yo. Who don't feel like no, 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 should I clash in our verses? Verses? Yeah. Uh, I'm still. Who? I'm still. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna give me a serious answer. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, Monday? No, man, Guys, I just fan life and then I ask my question to my answer. Conscience should do a versus back. Conscience versus who? Comments. Who would I be a fear? No idea. And that, can we have what most of them? Uh, who, who would have what? Bigger than, like, uh, uh, outside of my yeah. era. <laughs> but in my era? Probably Papi. Papi, Papi, yeah. Papi alone, Popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you this. This is signal up before me, man. I don't know them. I mean, at least I don't know them. I try to play ball and see if I may go to the ball. And I take up badness and all that. Yeah, man. Puffy. A lot of Christians actually said, I didn't see it. I was like, why are you comparing it to? But I guess because of the type of um, lyrical content, but a lot of persons texted up. No, man. I felt so uh -uh. too. I was like, Honestly, I couldn't put a comparison with anybody because, again, as a Trinidadian, I know it may not be big for Jamaicans, but you sing dancehall, reggae, and then you go over into that international flavor. So it's like... Right, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair for, for most artists in my, right. in my exactly. timeline. But in terms of hits, though, and, and, and being in the same era, I think popcorn would have been. Popcorn have, have mad hits, even though in terms of the, the diversity and the different types of hits may have more diversity, but when you talk about pound for pound, hit song, it's good. All right, well, you have to talk to Sharon about that. I would like to yeah. see that too. So I want to get into your preferences, right? <clears throat> Girls. Do you prefer a woman in heels or sneakers? Both. Time and place for everything. Okay. Do you prefer shorts or leggings? Shorts. What it is with Jamaicans and these shorts? Trinidad shorts are our, our thing, man. Listen. Okay. Shorts are our real boys, man. Especially if legs nice. Okay. <laughs> Scary movie or comedy? Comedy. Okay. 
Stand up Basketball for me. Basketball or yes. soccer? Football? Wow. That's crazy. I can't choose. You can't choose on top. You really can't, can't choose on no. top. Soccer. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you US or Europe? To do what? Anything. Do you do you prefer? Okay, let's Definitely say this. Europe because Europe Europe um has been very good to me as an artist. But right. depends on where I art. Right. Yeah, Europe. Okay. Let's say Europe, yeah. Right. Okay, so do you prefer, and there's no in between, bright room or dark room? Dark room. What about if in between was there, like a little dim light? Still dark room? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Got it. My vibes in it. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, there's one more that I normally ask, but we know that one, so I'm not even what gonna ask. What is it? Ask. What is it? Marriage or common law? A lot of people say <laughs> common law, um, because they believe it's the same thing. So we go back and forth on it because I'm like, it's not really the same thing, you know. Um. But a lot of men, a lot of Jamaicans actually that I spoke to said they prefer um, common law. Well, conscience, is there anything? Wait, I'll skip. Oh, someone have to answer that? No, no well, problem. I mean, do you want to answer it? Yeah, I assume so because I'm married, I don't want to answer it. I think. And I'm going to have to speak about my personal um, situation. Right. But I think, I think marriage overrated for most people nowadays. I think society kind of force a, 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 um, a way of thinking for the people and then slowly I step outside of it. So right now, I say happiness. Whoever make you happy, that's the situation for you. But, but I think... Um... What happened is, you know, back in the day when mm -hmm. a TV is broken, right? We're talking about our grandparents here, right? Cause they're my wicked. They're young. Because, you know, remember what you have right away, your, your grandparents that will give you advice about marriage and about relationships. Yeah, they didn't have Instagram. And they probably never have phones. So when, the, when, it, when your grandfather left the yard, your grandmother will see him back till hours later. She gets to miss him. No, she never but they are women. She never get to call him as soon as he walks through the door and text him right through the day. And he never get to call her and you know what I mean and watch her so them get to miss each other on no. a regular. But they but they are no, so girl never women. slide in her DM with pussy picture. No man they, never send cock to, to grandma. So them them are they are not in any way or shape in a in a position to advise people on what's happening nowadays right you're not shows. gonna i'm not saying they're gonna advise but can i finish my point yeah go ahead sorry what, what time is done is, <laughs> yeah back in the day right when a tv is broken mm -hmm. they would try to fix that tv right and if, mm -hmm. it end, if they can't fix it, they're going to say, forget the TV, we'll work around it. We can do it without the TV. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, in our generation, the millennials... That's your TV, new TV. That's it. So, and, and there are some women like that still. Eh? Some would say, even though a man, as Jamaicans, would say, give him a bun. Or we can say, give a horn. Horns, yeah. So Say horn, we'll like that. Work it out, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So yes, maybe social media, Instagram, and thing have like a role to play, but I just yeah. think that young people don't know about working through things and fixing it rather than 
you know, um, like I'm married and I have moments when I'm like, I done, me want to think, I go. You know, I'm 28 and I'm like, that's it. But okay. there are times when I'm like, but where are I going? What are I going for? You know, it, it makes sense. No, I love this person. I'm going to stay here. Yeah, like, um, from, like, I think that's why, that's why my point, and if, regardless of whatever situation I'm in, I would advise a person that happiness is, is the key. Like, whatever makes you happy at whatever point in your life, at that kind of thing. You see, because it, it you know, yes, the, the people, them attention span shorter, them temper fuse shorter. And, you know what I mean? But there are girls where, we're willing for work shooting. A man we're willing for can enough man get fucked on to and, and work with it. See me. Zin, so it, it I think where that is concerned, I mean I say a big difference. I did I think at this morning we're talking and I say, yo, one thing for sure, man never used to get fucked on and I think to kill them woman back in your grandfather days. It was it was way um more uncommon. Zin so it's a very tricky, tricky thing for try to work out. You can't say social media and do your life is now and um, the internet and do your people communicate now. I just change everything where relationships concerned. But I think it just boils down to being true to, to yourself and what, what makes you happy. Because you can't unhappy but, and try to make people happy. But then happiness fluctuates. You're good one then I guess the situation if we just fluctuate then. <laughs> I guess that's it. The, the idea of stability back then is different from what it is now. Remember, I said, Rihanna come right. and tell you, girl, him said, I'm a savage, and I didn't believe them. Like, back in the days, a girl where a treat man like, like sex, sexual instruments, she, people look on her away. It way less, it way less, um, what a word, you know, judgmental now. A girl can just do what she feels to do. It's getting to that point where a girl can do whatever the fuck she feels for or make her happy without being, with, and being judgment free. You know what I mean? And we're kind of all right with that, but we just don't like the fact that the idea of love kind of got through the door with it. So I think us as millennials, we need to find the right balance where people can just be 100% true to themselves and real to themselves and then a partner say, Yo, you know, yeah, this is what I deal with, that man deal with too. And just make them thing work. Right. What about counseling? Like, do you think, like, I have had moments where I'm like, man, should we go to counseling? Should we not? Let me try to figure it out ourselves, you know? Um, but but what, what is your take on counseling with regards to married, marriage? Relationships, counseling. Because, I would, again, even though we're the marriage, we kind of abuse it. You know, enough man mar me married for years before we actually married. You know what I mean? And so, like I said, relationship counseling. Mm -hmm. That's tricky for me because I really and truly enough feel say, a person can advise you. And you, everybody's relationships are different and unique nowadays. Like, you have to just, it, it just, but I better you get a happiness coach. Where somebody sit down your woman and say, what make you happy? And sit down you and say, what make you happy? All right, when you can meet at one crossroad and made happiness work but marriage uh, traditional marriage counseling i don't know I'm not, nothing more with it right right okay so let's go back light um outside of trinidad what are the carnivals you've been to jamaica right of i've course. been to crop over but we never actually participate we just got the show and cut okay. okay um this was supposed to be that year where with the carnival happening and the whole thing and all that vibe, but here comes Corona. Yeah. We get a piece of Notting Hill in the UK. Lime, we just do a show, but I guess LA Carnival, Miami Carnival, I did that too. Right. And what is one of the first things you're going to do as soon as this pandemic is over? A show. Where? Kenya, Zimbabwe, I see. I, no, know I don't know. I don't know. Kenya. I don't know. We just need to do a show now. Like, you realize how you miss something when you can't, when it's when it gone, and you can't do it. Like, you see the crowd in front of you, and, you know, that job there. Gone, I'm going to need it. 
what 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 you what, what would you say conscience um that you would be different having experienced this pandemic as an artist what would you do different now let's say if pay attention to pay attention to details like taros and, and myself say simple things and blessings mm -hmm. like pay attention to, to the details and when you realize um like corona come and just make everybody be the same we reach you poor, everybody just become the same and you realize it's something you can just come and you just switch your life in a minute how long was it after we hear about corona what was the window between when we heard about it to when the world place just get, get crazy March, I think investments March. Ma mash up business mash up shows cancelled people can't go out like in a split second everything yeah. just gone so like pay attention to the details the, the world slow down Ma are, you, stop. are you a spiritual person like do you believe in God and the almighty and so yeah I'm not a religious person but I'm right. very spiritual I believe in a God for sure right and would yeah. you say that um, this is like maybe he's doing to probably teach us a lesson. Do you think that um, the world was kind of going crazy and it's a moment to say, slow down, I remember who is the boss? Let me do this interview again when, when the place open up and see if the world calm down after. Okay. <laughs> Remember, uh, people give God everything, you know, like everything bad, everything good. Them say, "Oh God," and if you get a bad, them say, "I gotta beat you," or "I gotta <laughs> teach you a lesson." Like them have a personal line to God, and everything is God. So let's see if after this, and the world will go right back to normal. Then let's see what condition the world is gonna be in after that, and then we we'll have this conversation. All right, well, good answer. Um. What is one of the things you've asked him for and he has given it to you? A son. Oh, wow. Yeah. That looks exactly like you, by the way. I agree. So he didn't just give you a son. He gave yeah. you a... Like that? Yeah. Slap it we on. work hard for that little boy, man. Nice. That was work. Nice. Okay. So now it's like a different meaning. I know you have a daughter, but it's like, that's like the air to carry on. Yeah. Name, man. She had my first love. She had my first life-changing event. You know what I mean? But, and, and we never planned to have a, a child when, when we actually, and just the impact we should have for my life. Man, I say, yo, it just changed my life to, to, to a level where you never see it come. You know what I mean? But right. for sit down and say, yo, all right, want a son now and this is how we are going to do it and and it work out definitely give thanks to that and nowadays you when you them born healthy like are the biggest blessing that so even that again that, that again is a healthy because you would blessings would you say I, I hear um a lot of times people would say that when I got or oh, held my child in my arms that is when I actually understood or oh, that is when I actually loved for the first time. Would you say you had um that moment? Like that's for when sure. you understood people love? Yeah for sure. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So tell us about um albums, upcoming music. You're living in the studio so we're excited to yeah. hear about new music and then we're gonna say goodbye with that one. No albums in the works yet. Right. Ten ton a single, like singles every day, thousands of songs, and we just do music with no direction, like whatever the energy is, and right. and at that particular moment we do a song. You know what I mean? So right now there is no direction where music is concerned. We just do song, song for for every 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 um every situation, and every vibe, and when the place open up. We see what going. We definitely have, have a lot of videos coming. Um, okay. Yeah, for unreleased singles, nice music, um, vibing music, party music, song for your girl, them, song for your brain, song for your heart. Just be a song there, man. So, all fans, big up on yourself. Enough love. Think them are forward.
Okay. Well, I normally take three questions. I asked for it, but person just sent. So I will ask. I'm going to just put them. It should pop up. Will you ever... People are going to ask them questions, I know. Will you ever award a fan the opportunity to tour with you one time? A fan? Yeah. To tour with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one time, no. so I'm, I'm not thinking that they, well, I hope they're not asking here. how long is this tour? For the entire tour, but maybe one place. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, if I, to a show, yes, but for a tour, no. Okay. No. So, whoever asks that, you better go to an artist. <laughs> well, um, the others are very, you know, basic. How are you and stuff like that? So, we're going to leave that. Well, Conscience, I want you to take 60 seconds for me. To encourage persons to do the right thing, you know, with regards to COVID, stay inside, do whatever they have to. I mean, things are opening up now. Um, and just general advice. And then I want you to end with, I don't know where my tag gone. Keep your tempo up. I'm a, that's the name of my show. So I'm going to tag it below for you. Keep your tempo up. Yes. Yo, well, this is conscience. I'm going to encourage all the viewers right now to just be safe. You know what I mean? Focus on your health and your family health and try to make sure even right now when we lock down and when the place open up, focus on your happiness. Your personal happiness so it can spill over into public happiness and happiness for your family. You know what I mean? Bless up yourself. Keep your temper up, all right? Peace. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and do have amazing sessions. All right. Big up Sharon Burke and Ariel for harassing the phone. And remind me, I have interview with the lovely Arita. Bye-bye. All right.